everyone, this is MD Anderson, recording outside the motorhome studio to start with. Um, just wanted to give a quick update on the Fiero. I was really excited about this. Um, of course, I've been doing my planning, researching, budgeting, all that other fun stuff to get this uh, car operational. And of course, I want it all electric. And of course, I've had to do a lot of studying. To make it electric, using the Arduino, I wanted to use serial inputs, outputs, and have it display certain information on the screens. I was looking at buying these little 7 or 8 inch screens when I uh, budgeted it in, uh, earned the money for it, and wanted to get a little motherboard, a computer basically, in which it will uh, communicate all the data back and forth with the Arduino. However, I was going through all my garbage. Stuff that I'd had from uh, the gymnastics studio. I used to have a video uh, loop that would play on three or four different TVs and screens throughout the gym to let people know when it's time to pay me. Um, I still had some of that leftover equipment. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I took apart the surveillance system that I had left over from the gym. And I came across a monitor that was used for my display systems. And I looked at it, and it was, it was about that thick. I was like, well, I wonder if I uh, wonder how that will work. So I took it apart, and believe it or not, it was only, well, let's see, that thick. And so here is the actual video display of the screen. It used to be a regular VGA monitor, and as I've done my research, I have found that I could use this, and that would be more awesome to have one 19-inch screen than I did um, three or four small 6-inch screens. I'll just pull the steering wheel out of the way so it's easier to see. Get these extra hard drives out of the way. So you can see I was going to have a monitor, and I was going to, I didn't draw it in, uh, but stuff like that for the monitor. But the screen, do I have it upside down? No, I have it upside down will fit right there in the middle of it. And I'll be able to have my touchpad mouse. I'm actually thinking of doing a touchpad mouse on the steering wheel and have all the buttons on the steering wheel so I don't have to reach off the steering wheel. To me, that sounds like a great safety feature uh, available on a vehicle. You know, I've talked about doing this remotely. And the reason I think I would like to have a remotely controlled car is so that, like, if it's raining and I'm coming out of the store and I don't want to walk in the rain then I can, instead of running to the car, I can drive the car to me from my phone. And I can easily hook up a stepper motor onto these cables, probably underneath the front hood instead, not inside the car. And it wouldn't be so hard to do that. And I think it would be a lot of fun. Uh, so I had a lot of fun doing this dash. I uh, showed it a few weeks ago. Nice and solid. It's amazing what hot glue and cardboard will do. I mean, that stuff, it's, it's solid and it's not even taped down. This is the air vent that was originally with it, and when I put foam down and some uh, vinyl over the top of it, I think this is going to look really great. But for the rest of this vlog today, I am applying for a scholarship with Youth Speaker University, done by a guy named Josh Ship. I have been teaching a long time about finding mentors in your goal process. Josh Ship does exactly what I want to do with my Dragon Eyes Your Dragon Eyes seminars. I am applying for one of two scholarships. These are $2,000 scholarships. I would have gone to these a long time ago if I had that kind of money available to me now. But he is sending out an invitation for those who are interested to apply for it. And I would really, really love to get that scholarship. I would love to have another mentor to help me go where I want to go. I wrote this uh, Dragon Eyes or Dragon Eyes book quite a while ago, uh, but it was originally titled Revolutionizing the World, and I've really expanded it since then. And I wrote it for my gymnasts to help them build their self-esteem. I have a picture of one of my most favorite gymnasts who I use this the most with. She only practiced four hours a week in the gym. She made it on top of a podium. This is Allie White. I love Allie White. She was one of my most favorite gymnasts. She made me look like an awesome coach all the time. And like I said, she only worked in the gym four hours a week because the goal process teaches you how to prioritize and how to focus and how to do things in much lesser time. That's what I love about this goal process. So please, forward this video to as many people as you can. 
I would be more than thankful to have your support and in turn I know I will be able to do a much better seminar for helping people build their self-esteem through the goal process. So here's the video application of the uh, Josh Ship Scholarship. Dragonize Your Dragon Eyes Youth Speaker University by MD Anderson. For those who have been following my social media platforms, you've known that I've been writing the Dragon Bell series. One of the books in the Dragon Bell series is this one, The Dragon Eyes, Your Dragon Eyes. It is about goal setting and self-esteem. I've wanted to go out and do seminars, go out there and meet people, talk to them, help them, inspire them to set their goals, build their self-esteem. One of the steps in the goal process is to find mentors. I am always looking for something to help me become better. I came across Josh Ship of Youth Speaker University. For the past several months that I have been aware of the Youth Speaker University, I have wanted to attend. I have been wanting to get there and make myself better so that I can become the mentor that will help other people. I just received an email from Josh Ship and he is inviting two people for a $2,000 scholarship. And I am applying for that scholarship. This video is my application to be able to apply for that scholarship. So I am asking everybody out there to please forward this video on. Help me get where I want to go, which can be found at youthspeakeru.com. Please help me get this scholarship. I would really appreciate it. Well, there was the video. And like always, please pass it on. Share, like it. And I hope you all have another great week.